Happy Sunday. So the thinking, the letting go, the feelings, really, ultimately, that we feel. Uh, joy, happiness, depression, shame, the feelings. And part of the solution to, I mean, that I've found that's been amazing and uncomfortable is the sharing. Uh, and I talked about this a couple of days ago, the willingness to expose what you feel, to talk about it, uh, to connect with another human being, to look in their eyes and, and just bear your soul, right? And I mean, I've been and continue as I go along the path to get to those places uh, where I'm afraid the feelings are going to kill me. And then at the same time, I hope the feelings are going to kill me. Uh, and I say that figuratively, um, but there was a time and a place when I didn't say that figuratively that I felt, you know, when, uh, I guess when, when you're so heartbroken that, um, at least the first couple of times that you're just like, I don't think I can move on having these feelings and uh, I'm afraid that they're going to kill me and I'm afraid that they're not going to kill me, that I'm going to have to live like that forever. Um, and it's been my experience that the, the only thing to, uh, that's, that releases for me at least, um, the compression of those feelings is to share. And sometimes it's to share with the person that that feeling's about, and sometimes it's not. It depends, I guess it depends on you. Um, and I you know, I've been on, I've been through that on a few different levels with, with, uh, with a parent, um, with, uh, with, with, uh, with another person that I have those feelings for, the female. And usually the, the, the reciprocation isn't there, but it's the exchange or the let go, um, the, the, the burst of the dam that like I have, to, it, it's just some, I, the need to express how I feel. Um, because for me, to sit down and sit on and bury that slowly kills me and makes every waking moment sheer pain. Um, you know, and this goes with my parent, you know, it was with my father, like, I don't even know, like 30 years ago. Um, and I was encouraged uh, to tell him how I felt about him and it wasn't a nice feeling and uh, I did and <laughs> I, you know my story that story is more tragic than, than others uh, because it was amazing that I was able to show up for myself at 18 and, and jump off that bridge in a sense um into the unknown and the uncertainty and just be like, look, this is how I feel and it's not anything great and, you know, expletive, expletive. Um, you know, and then he passed away <laughs> uh, a few days later, <laughs> which like I said, is not ideal, <laughs> but there's humor in that. And I, look, that was a really tough thing to deal with for a very long time. Um, but if I didn't do and say how I felt, I can only imagine where I'd be now. You know, because those feelings didn't kill me and those feelings didn't kill him. Life happened. And, uh, you know, and you, that can be that same, I, I, can exp I can shine that same paradigm on other things that I've done in my life uh, with people that I felt you know, have 
a lot of feeling for and I've told them how I felt and something's released and I've changed and I've grown but I've been willing to show up for myself willing to and like this I'm nowhere near perfect and I don't have everything I want and the relationship and all that stuff and I have tons of issues still but maybe one less for each of the times I've shown up for myself and uh, connected with other individuals um, sought help all these things that are so immensely difficult and challenging for what I, I don't even know why like why are they so challenging I guess that's kind of the you know why or what have we constructed in our paradigm of humanity that has labeled the sharing of our feelings not important or not as valid um, and I you know I don't think it's a male or female thing I mean maybe females share more I don't know I'm not a female but I know that I'm lucky enough to be a part of a community that we encourage you know me and my guy friends encourage the talking and encourage the sharing and and that's still not easy even though it's something I do my best to practice I still have something within me in the back of my mind saying like you should know how to do everything and you should be a pro at it all even if it's something I've never done before and then I you know this residual or this um, I don't know whatever shame uh, perfection kicks in it's like well you can't tell anybody you don't know how to do that or uh, you know or you feel weird because that person didn't text you back and you're like all these things they just are you know the feelings are not going to kill you the feelings are valid but they're not facts they can be acknowledged but not idolized or, you know, cherished. They're feelings. They come and they go, and this too shall pass. Much love.